All right, guys, we're finally talking about friend.tech, um, but very, very quickly in a not so positive light, unfortunately. Um, if for, for those of you who don't know, friend.tech is the most recent kind of social media based crypto app that launched on the Bases Layer 2 chain. Uh, did some crazy numbers when it first came out, especially after people realized that Paradigm had invested into them. Uh, past couple of days, uh, you know, volume, TVL, et cetera, has been dropping off. And essentially this afternoon, they sealed the deal <laughs> with this most recent post. Oh man, talk about reading the room, huh? Uh, let's read the post and then we'll get into why it's so problematic. Uh, Friend.tech says, uh, we expect friend tech clones of, and other types of copies will emerge. Uh, essentially them saying that they know that other copies and forks of Friend.tech will come out eventually. And there are, by the way, a ton already coming out and that's why they're making this post. They continue on and say, uh, to make sure loyal users are rewarded fairly during our beta, users moving to forks and copies will automatically opt out of earning points and forfeit existing points. They will be able to use the app normally. Pretty much saying that if you decide to use an app that they deem to be a fork, a clone, a copy, etc., cetera, uh, they're gonna go ahead and boop, just <laughs> your account's gone, baby. Um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you, man, you look at the comments, look at the quote tweets especially, people didn't really, uh, they didn't take too kindly to that, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, <laughs> now, let me just say this, I think, um, <laughs> I think the number one thing, and I think it's obvious, right, that, that uh, you should know when you're making a crypto project, a protocol, you're doing comms, etc., uh, no one likes to be limited. Like no one likes to feel like they're constrained or like, you know, like put into a box. No one likes that, just generally. Um, especially not in crypto, right? So then that's kind of what these, what they, uh, what friend.tech did to their users uh, with this post essentially. They're essentially saying, they're, they're, they're kind of like, they're not, it's, not, it's not even like a guilt thing. They're really saying that, yo, like either you use us or you don't use anybody. It's like an ultimatum. They literally gave their users an ultimatum. Um, which is, to me was just like the worst thing to do, I think, in this scenario. Like, to be honest, a bunch of forks could have came out. Maybe some of them could have, quote unquote, uh, what do you call it, uh, you know, vampire attacked because, you know, that's honestly what they're the most afraid of. Um, and I'll be honest with you, probably nothing would have came out of it, right? Because at the end of the day, they're forks and forks don't ever do, for the most part, as much volume or, you know, achieve as much success as the original protocol. Um, that being said, uh, another small comment I'd like to make is, I don't know if Friend.Tech is technically open source. I don't know how they handle that stuff. But to me, it's like, assuming they are, because I don't know, otherwise, like, you know, what else would they do? Like, you know, if, if, they, don't, if they don't say this, then they, maybe they would have sued them or something. Um, it's like, if you're open source, then like, you know, stick with the, stick with the ethos, right? It's like, if you're gonna say, hey, like, we're gonna choose this license, and again, I don't know if they are, uh, we're going to choose this license and allow people to clone us, fork us, et cetera, you know, without any copyright, et cetera. Um, then like, you know, stick with it, you know, don't kind of just double, double back and like say, oh, okay, well, you know, now we're going to punish your users actually, if they decide to use you instead of us. Um, again, I'm not sure if that's the case, but nonetheless, uh, pretty crazy that they did this move. Uh, we'll see how, you know, if their platform, uh, <laughs> lasts long after this. I mean, maybe, honestly, maybe if they're smart, they might even go back and say, you know what? Hey, we made a mistake. We're sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I think they should, you know, uh, yeah, I'm not necessarily a big proponent of this app. Uh, that's partially why I never really made a video on it. Uh, I made a video about Web3 Social and how I said that that was kind of one of the bigger apps not coming out. Um, but frankly, you know, uh, at the end of the day, like this one did seem a little bit more aggressive, uh, in terms of like, you know, shares and whatnot. I should say, sorry, aggressive in terms of like the Ponzi-nomics that are intertwined, uh, intertwined within it. Um, so that's partially why I never really was that big of a fan of it. Um, but that being said, what do you guys think? Huh? Do you guys think this is a good news, bad news? Because uh, I've seen both takes, by the way. Uh, this is kind of just my take. Um, let me know in the comments below, you know? And uh, yeah, you're not going to find me on friend.tech, by the way. I, I don't use it, so. <laughs> just comment in the comments below, not on friend.tech. You don't have to pay to comment. It's free. Anyways, see you guys in the next one.